We have the distance, you have mud. Where Tully Crossing is on the uh, the outskirts of those woods. Not uh, just arrived here at Cherrywood. So, this area here is going to be uh, heavily developed. Retail, residential, and parkland over the next uh, year or so. But the Harker Street line would have come down here, straight down here, and you have this Lewis level crossing gone straight across. Of course, everything, everything around here is just not recognizable from those days. The only part you can actually recognize are those hills there that would have been there back in the Harker Street line days. But roads are being built now, and um, construction has halted. On to next month, but uh, just imagine what it could have been like if there was a railway here. It would have been probably at least two stations along here. Probably around here would have been a station, and then down near the pilot, you would have had more residential up here, and then commercial down near the pilot. But it wasn't a bee. It wasn't a bee. Thanks, Todd. Uh, but uh, yeah, as I said, at Dundrum, back in the late 50s, there was plans for development and uh, it never came to fruition. So, uh, but I'll acknowledge that Dublin Corporation from 1972 onwards protected the land, uh, with the exception of a few extended gardens there at Dundrum. The right of way was, uh, wasn't uh, built on, wasn't impacted. But the damage had been done at the Shangana end, unfortunately. So uh, whether there was method in the madness when they built those houses in the early 60s at Shangana Grove and uh, practically topped and tailed the line, ripped up all the bridges in those 18 months between January, January 1959, September 19, uh, 1960. So that's what we have anyway. So um, speculation whether the Lewis will will extend onwards, but uh, what with COVID going on, and um, it's unlikely at the moment. It could take place in 10 years time, uh, possibly down by the motorway. It'd certainly be fantastic to have a Lewis go over the Bryce Glen Viaduct, which hasn't seen, um, hasn't seen public transport in what, six, over 60 years. So that'd be fantastic to see. With the exception of the Johnny Nobody film, which they, um, they would have put on a special train in, in the spring of 1960, which I still have to get some details on. Um, maybe there's an, an Ardmore archive I can look up, or the National Library, or whenever things start to reopen again, hopefully I can have exhausted uh, possibilities online. So hopefully in the coming future I'll be able to sort of check that out. Anyway, that's it for now.